Hi, and welcome back to Mondraker TV. This is the latest version of our Mondraker F Podium. It's a cross-country race bike, and this version is limited edition, featuring the brand new, just released, RockShox Flight Attendant system on here, making what was already the fastest bike we've ever made even faster. Released in 2023, this latest configuration of the F-Podium cross-country bike is the most aggressive and capable cross-country bike we have ever made. It's running 110 millimeters of travel on the rear, 120 on the front. It's got totally refined geometry that really does represent where cross-country racing is today. And it's got overhauled suspension kinematics. And as you can see, this model here has a full SRAM access ecosystem on here. You've got the RockShox Reverb access dropper. You've got the flight attendant system on there. And of course, you've got Eagle access transmission. So in case you're unaware of what flight attendant actually is, it's a wireless control system for the suspension on a bike, and it sits within the Access ecosystem. So within that, you have the RockShox Reverb dropper post, the Access model, obviously. You have the Eagle Access transmission, both of which are battery powered and they're wireless completely, and they communicate with shifters at the handlebars. And then of course, you have the flight attendant. So when I say this can act nearly instantly, I'm talking every five milliseconds. This is how fast this can make decisions on what's going on. And it makes those based on the input that you put into the bike. So for your power and the way that you load the bike up uh, through the accelerometers and also through the terrain input there. So every five milliseconds is capable of making adjustments. Now to put that into perspective, the average human blink like an eyeball blink, is between three and 400 milliseconds, which means in the time I just blinked then, this can make 80 decisions and then act on it. That's just mind-blowingly fast. But what RockShox and SRAM discovered when they started speaking to the rest of the athletes on a development program was that in the intensity of an XCO race situation, after a couple of laps, most of the racers they spoke to were saying that they just lose the ability to consider what they were doing. You know, muscle memory of changing gear was there, dropper posts had started to be there, but anything else kind of goes out the window just with the sheer, like the intensity and the red mist of racing. So any technical advancement there was that was going to make the bike faster for them was surely going to be an improvement. Flight Attendant was first released in 2021 in a longer travel format. So it's available on the Super Deluxe Rear Shock and on three different forks, the Pike, the Lyric and the Zeb. Now, essentially what it enabled was to take a longer travel bike and make them perform in a much more efficient manner, which is brilliant. But actually what I could see was the fact that XCO was gonna be the perfect place for this, but it needed to be developed in a longer travel realm before it could get here because the rest of the suspension wasn't there yet. We hadn't yet had the SID with the 35 mm chassis or any of the more current modern improvements, but thankfully it's here right now. So with that in mind then, just consider that when Nino rode the first prototype setup of this flight attendant suspension in a race situation, it made over 1,300 automatic suspension adjustments. That tech is a clear advantage. So let's have a detailed look then at the F podium and I'll talk to you a bit about what flight attendant does as you move around the bike. Number one of 20. I've never seen the first edition of a limited edition bike before, so I feel kind of privileged here just seeing this one. Now, angles on the bike, you've got 66 and a half degrees at the front, so that's pretty much in trail bike territory. 76.2 degrees, so nice and steep. Again, that's like getting closer to trail bikes as opposed to where cross-country bikes were with 74, you know, even just a couple of years ago. Chain stays 435 millimeters, and there's four frame sizes available. And the reach on those is 430, 455, 480, and 505 millimeters across those four sizes. Now the frame on this is sub two kilograms, which just makes me laugh because it's, it's so crazy light. Now, in case you're unaware, the version of the zero suspension platform on here was completely reconfigured when we released this frame in 2023. Now this achieved a whole number of things. We could fit two water bottles in the front triangle. It could lower the top tube of the bike. It could allow us to have a longer drop post on there. And by allowing all these things, the rocker itself had to go lower and the shock orientation moved slightly. The benefits of this, in combination with running a very slightly shorter shock 
and increasing the leverage ratio on here is it's more sensitive and it's more supportive. So it's a win-win in all situations. Okay, so up front we have the RockShox SID Ultimate FA flight attendant. Now we've seen the Ultimate alongside the lightweight SL Brother released previously, but this version of course has the flight attendant module on the top. So on the outside, this fork is running 120 millimeters of travel. It's also got the huge 35 millimeter stanchion. So for a cross country fork, that really is like a big stout, chunky fork there. It's got CNC machine crowns on there, which are absolutely beautiful. And then of course the flight attendant module, which looks fairly similar to what we've seen previously, but just in a slightly different guise. So you've got that access battery on the back there, and then you've got three positions of damping available to you. You've got fully locked out, you've got pedaling, and then you've got fully open. But in addition to the three position damping available to you, you have five major modes that flight attendant communicates and operates within. And they're represented by different color LED lights here. So you can actually see by reference what mode you are in. Now the first one we're going to talk about is the manual setting. So it's represented by a red light and it means you can literally, using your access controller, adjust between open, pedal and lock. So it's just there for an instant wireless controller. So you can put it in the setting that you require it to be in. But that would be negating the point of what this intelligence can do. So the next one is green and this is fully automatic. So flight attendant makes all the decisions for you here between opening and closing the fork and shock when it needs to. Now something cool about this is you can have it adjusting both the front and rear at the same time, or you can select it to just operate on the rear shock as well. So perhaps you're riding a particularly rough course that you want the maximum control and just leave the fork open and then just have it take, taking care of the back end there for a bit of efficiency that option is available to you. And the next mode is represented by orange lighting. Now this is known as the override mode. Now this essentially is a shortcut to your preferred sort of overall setting. So you might decide that your preferred setting is locked out, for example. You can set a button of your choice and to operate how you want to take you directly to that no matter what is going on with your riding. Now you can have it with an instant press which is 0.25 of a second or holding it down for one second to take you directly to that mode out of those three damping settings. So that's pretty cool to have that available to you. The next mode is yellow and this is known as the search mode. So at any point here, for example, if you've been having a coffee and you've lent the bike up and some of the system has gone to sleep, you can wake it back up again and the yellow mode is when it's all trying to reconnect together. A little tap of the pedals there for the power meter there to get it into this mode and everything connects and onwards. And the last mode is known as the safe mode. So essentially, if it detects your batteries or basically you haven't charged them, uh, it goes into a safe mode so you can still use the bike without it being fully locked out, essentially. So the rear shock is the RockShox Sid Lux flight attendant. This is available in two air cans, both in solo air and debonair. So that will be dependent on the requirements of the suspension design on the frame that's specifying this. Now this weighs 349 grams and you can see the control module right here that communicates with the fork. Uh, I actually didn't say the weight of the fork. The fork is 1,625 grams, so just over 1.6 kilos, which somehow makes the sub two kilo fra frame sound even lighter again. Uh, so like I said, 349 grams for that and it communicates directly with that control module. And essentially what happens is a bump will hit that front fork and basically before that bump gets to the rear wheel, the shock's already made the decision on the amount of damping required to absorb it or act on it. Incredible. Okay, onto the transmission of the bike then. So it's running an Eagle Access T-Type system on here. So it's an XS SL Duralia, so the lightest of the lot. The same with the cassette there, you've got the T-Type chain. And if you look at the XX crank here, you'll see it's actually got a quark power meter built into this. Now what this enables is a brand new feature for flight attendant called Adaptive Ride Dynamics. Now this is seriously cool because they've got this new algorithm and it learns as you ride and it adapts to you as a rider. So not only does it start to learn when you normally change gear, how you load the bike up, all those sorts of things, it also adapts to your level of fitness. So as your fitness increases, it can start making the bike more efficient to respond to that. So it's a phenomenal piece of kit what this can offer you as a rider, it really is. So there we go, we're nearly there with everything that flight attendant can offer on the F podium. But I didn't say 
one of the major things that you can do with all of this technology there is also the bias adjust on the system. So yes, you've got the automatic adjustment. You have the three damping modes available to you. You have all the other features, but you can also adjust the bias of how that comes into effect. Say for example, you're the sort of rider or racer that loves to sprint and get out the saddle more. You can adjust the bias to feel firmer for you. Or for example, if you're a bit more aggressive and you want the bike to feel more playful in a rough terrain, you can have that bias to the more open side. Do you think the, well, there's no limitations with the setup available to you on a bike like this. This is so XCO right now. I think this is one of the most exciting areas of development because it's all out high octane racing. And if the technology is gonna help the racers get any faster, well, it's gotta be a good thing. Now, it's not for me to ride, but I love this tech and I love what it's all about. And I'd love to know what you think of it. Let us know in the comments underneath what you think of the F Podium Unlimited and the flight attendant system from RockShox. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching.